Good morning. Okay, just. Hope you can see that I'm here. Can see. Ayan, I'm watching. Good morning. Naririnig niyo po ba ako? start in two minutes. Good morning po. Morning. technical po for a while. Good morning po. I'm watching po from Tondo. May Mindoro pa tayo. Please ah. Kuya Hers, good morning. Can anyone tell me kung naririnig po ako ng maayos? Waiting na lang po ako ng go signal and para dumami po yung viewers natin. Sir Lord, start na po ba? It's 
sweet lang po for the boss. So we have 150 viewers as of the moment. Thank you po sa mga na good luck. Salamat po. Wala lang po akong go signal yet. Ngayon ako mga estudyante dati sa CTP ah. Hello, good morning sa inyo. Good morning. <laughs> Pop Icon is watching from the City of Stars. Good morning sa iyo. Good morning. So we have 197 viewers so far. Do you think we should start? Oh wow, meron tayo from Bukidnon. Good morning po. Miss Lorraine. Good morning. Good morning, Mariah. So we have 208. I think we still need more minutes so we can start. breakfast na po ba? Sabay na kayo, sabay. Watch you from Turlock. There, si Bu Kagayan. Hello po. From Kaloocan. And we have from the USA. Good morning. Kasi na hindi ko mabasa yung names ninyo kasi malayo yung camera phone ko. Kasi I have visual aids here. But I can only see some of your comments there. The near sighted than me. Direct. Pakibawasan yung nandinig ko yung sarili ko. 
So from Bacolod, hello po, good morning from Urina Province. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Ay, parang nabasa ko to, Greg, right? Hello, Greg, kumusta? Good morning. So I hope lahat po nakapag-breakfast na and I think it's already 9.07. Maybe we can start. Okay, so we are already in the third week of the PNU Talks. And the PNU Talks is provided by the VP URA. Well, well, I'm actually waiting for the VP URA's go signal, but because of the time, probably we should start. So to begin with, let me just tell you that I can, or I will be doing some greetings or some sign language with you. So I would suggest that uh, sign a free your hands niyo so that makakagaya kayo sa akin. Okay? So this is good morning. Again, this is good morning. I am teacher Shine and I will be teaching mental health during the lockdown. So I've been learning some basic FSL last year, but then it's really hard to keep up kasi wala kang kausap. So I would like to say thank you to Ma'am Irish of uh, Philippine School for the Deaf uh, for helping me out in past few weeks para mag-translate ng some of the things that I will be using for this day. And so again, today, we are going to talk about mental health during the lockdown. So as a strategy, I will be using mnemonics. So are you already familiar with mnemonics? When you say mnemonics, these are acronyms that are used for us to remember concepts easily. If you remember PEMDAS, if you remember Roy G. Biv, if you remember um, Every Good Boy Does Fine, those are the examples of mnemonics. And so today, I will be using the same strategy, which is also used for people with learning disabilities and intellectual disabilities. So before I start with the mnemonic acronyms, Punta muna tayo sa basic. So, who among you already knows the basic of finger spelling? Kahit na A to I lang. Raise your hands. Marunong na ba mag finger spell? Ayan, maraming nag heart. Okay, so please show me a letter A. So, letter A. B. C. D, and E. In American Sign Language, it is a prerequisite na alam natin ng finger spelling kasi it is often used in how you do the sign language. For example, this is will. Kasi nag-start ako sa W. Ah, sorry, hindi ako nakikita sa camera. W and then L. That is will. And this is B. Starting from B to E. There. And later on, I will also show you more. Okay, so let's start with letter A. Letter A stands for acknowledge your feelings. Another one, acknowledge your feelings. Now, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, meron tayong mga groups who are more prone to having stress sa ganitong klase ng type ng quarantine. So, I prepared some visual aids for us para mas makita natin kung sino-sino ba itong mga groups na ito. First, um, may difficulty or those people who would say na may respond strongly to stress during the quarantine are those people na mayroong disabilities, those who have chronic illnesses, those who have mental illnesses. Next would be the teens and the kids. They, will, they might uh, respond strongly to stress as well. Third one, of course, is our respondents. Sa Philippines, we use the term um, frontliners. 
So, from medical doctors down to their staff, to their janitors, to the security guards, um, all of those are, of course, under stress. Kasama na din natin dyan yung mga security guards, our policemen, of course, our politicians from the president hanggang sa barangay officials. So, sila din yung grupo na merong possible na mas malakas ang, or mas malaki ang contribution ng stress sa kanila during sa ganitong kasi ng quarantine. And finally, um, those people na nasa late adulthood, those people most especially na meron na silang certain na uh, sakit, sila din yung medyo mataas yung tendency na magkaroon ng stress. And this is according to Center for Disease Control and Prevention of 2020. Now, Eric Erickson told us, tikit ko lang ha, kita nyo ba? Eric Erickson told us na meron tayong iba-ibang klase ng, ng psychosocial crisis. And kung ano man ang age group mo, it will also affect the way that you handle stress. It is also different, or difficult rather, if you happen to have problems, what about yet? Happen to have problems with with jobs na, na wala tayo for this moment. And those people, according to Maslow, na hindi satisfied relatively sa first few levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, will of course have a difficulty to find the, the next levels na maayos. Additionally, iba rin ang way of coping ng person who is single and a person who is or who are in relationships. If itong pictures na to ay nagsasabi naman ng personality types, um, between an extrovert and an introvert, sino sa tingin niyo yung mas mahirap na mag-cope sa ganitong klase ng stress? Ang sagot dyan would be the extrovert. So, they are very fond or sanay sila that they are, they are surrounded by people. And that is the difference and that is the reason kung bakit sila possible na magkaroon ng problem or magkaroon ng more na reason para mas stress for the quarantine. Pero ano bang pwede natin sabihin ngayon? Well, quarantine is not the forever case. So, hindi man natin alam kung kailan tayo, kailan mag, mababalik sa normal ang situation, but rest assured that this is not going to be forever. So, meron pa rin something na makakapag-keep sa atin na same. Kasi alam natin na it's going to happen. It, this, this is going to end soon. So, in these cases, well, we, what we have to do is to first know ano ba ang root cause. Ayan. Tingnan natin ang root cause. So, ano kaya ang reason? Bakit ka nasa-stress? Well, pwedeng problems with the day-to-day -day living, like yung food natin, or the people you are with. It could also be because of the news na papanood natin. It could also be because of some different na deadlines na meron tayo sa job natin. So, you really have to find kung ano ba yung root cause. Bakit ka ba nasa stress? And once na nalaman natin yun, I would suggest hindi na po ka siya. I would find a way. I would suggest na i-control natin yung kaya natin makontrol. And then we just let go of the things that we can't. Okay? Easier said than done, di ba? Pero mas maganda po na alamin natin bakit ba tayo si stress as of the moment. And then, if you already know that, then pwede natin gawin ng paraan yung kaya natin, but hindi, or let go natin muna yung hindi natin kaya sa the moment. For example, if you have deadlines, if you think na hindi muna kaya because you are not in a certain mood to do so, then give, your, give yourself a space, give yourself time. Sabi nga sa letter A kanina, you have to acknowledge your feelings. Okay? So, once that you already know the root cause of your uh, stress, you have to talk about it. Here. Find a friend who will validate your feelings. 
find the person, kahit family members, who will listen sa lahat ng mga stresses mo, may be small or big. Kasi, as mentioned, ang stress natin, magkakaiba tayo ng way kung paano natin ito makita. So, pwede nyo iba, simple lang sa kanila, sa iba hindi. So, you really have to find people who would listen to you. Okay? So, we're done with letter A. Letter A stands for acknowledge your feelings. Okay? So, let's move on to letter B. Ano bang color ng letter B ko? That's let, that is blue. Now, for letter B, this is the finger spelling. So, ang B ko ay B. Again, be mindful or be aware. Aware, A, tsaka, W. Okay? So, sa limang to, I think ito yung pinakamahirap. When you have to be aware of the things that you have to do sa lahat ng seconds and lahat ng minutes of your life. So, I would suggest na kailangan natin mag-take ng break from hearing, listening, or reading sa lahat ng mga news that we have. Minsan kasi, or hindi lang minsan, hearing the pandemic would, of course, repeatedly, could be very upsetting. So, mas maganda kung bigyan natin siya ng break. Also, do not overindulge. Uh, madami tayong mga friends na masyadong babat sa social media, masyado tayong uh, marami tayong friends na babat sa Netflix and the like. So, you have to be aware baka sobra na ang pag netflix natin, baka masyado tayong nag-relax. Now, binge watching is actually a form of escape. So, it is mind-numbing. So, mas maganda if we really get to the problem, as mentioned kanina, balik tayo sa root cause kung ano ba yung source ng stress natin. So, by the way, paano mo malalaman kung stress ka na? Well, if you have um, problems with your sleeping patterns, yung eating patterns mo, meron ding problems, and then if, uh, say for example, you have difficulty in concentrating, you have worsening chronic at saka mental health. If you worry a lot, if you are irritable, so alam mo na, na there's it, baka nasa-stress ka na. So, going back to letter A, you have to learn the root cause. And again, acknowledge your feelings. Then, once the, you already know, then be mindful about things. Okay? Now, you also have to take good care of your body kasi baka masyado ka nang nanonood ng Netflix, masyado ka nang nag enjoy sa social media, and then you're forgetting na karami ka na ng chips, na karami ka na ng junk food. So, you also have to take good care of your body. Take, a lot, take lots and lots of fluids para mas maging maayos at ang ating mental state at sya ang ating physical state as well. So, if this happens, anong advice ko? Well, you have to disconnect. Take a break. Baka masyado ka nang na stress sa mga maraming things at marami nating napapanood. Also, you have to learn how to differentiate between fake news at saka yung totoong balita. So, baka stress ka of something na hindi naman totoong nangyayari. So, you always have to validate kung tama ba yung news na pinapakinggan ninyo or kahit sa friend mo lang or sa kapamilya mo. So, you have to know tama ba yan. Baka naman hindi. And also, you have to be a role model. If you have kids at home, most especially if you have teens at home, if nakikita nila na stress ka, May, pwedeng magkaroon sila ng tendency na ma-stress as well. Also, if you happen to watch a lot of news together, tapos may mga terminologies na hindi nila maintindihan, it is also better if you explain some terminologies to them para hindi sila magkaroon ng misinterpretation. So, that's the thing that you have to do. Again, you have to be a good role model. Okay? So, ano ulit ang letter B? B, B, mindful, 
or be aware. Okay? So let's move on to letter C. Letter C, you have to create, yan na letter C kasi, create routines. Create routines. Routines. Yan. So for letter C, we have yellow. Pinatin ang aking yellow here. So we have morning and the night time. Ano ang plano mo for the entire day? There. So, what you have to do is to create your routine. Alamin natin kung kailan ang work time at saka ang down time. So, kapag alam mo na time mo na para magtrabaho, then you can of course change or manage the environment if possible. If you can designate workspace area, if feasible, then please do so. Um, you can also change the, the sounds, the music, the lighting, or kung gusto nyo, you can even change your outfits, work outfits kayo para alam yung game on. Okay? Now, after ng workspace nyo, ng work time, kailangan meron din kayong downtime. Hindi pwedeng mag, mas malaki yung isa o mas malami yung isa kaysa dun sa isa. Dapat balance lang. Most especially nasa bahay lang tayo. So we are at the comfort of our homes. So you have to find time between these two. Also, get a lot of sunlight kung possible. Kung pwedeng lumabas ng konti for vitamin D. And then, kailangan meron tayong routine for sleep. Anong oras na ba kayo natutulog? Baka masyado na kayong, baka launa na kayo natutulog. So, mas maganda kung meron tayong sleep pattern. But regardless, it's better to have 8 hours ng sleep kahit anong oras pa kayo natutulog. Also, maganda rin, if dito sa routines ninyo, you also get to friend, uh, to call a friend. I've seen uh, my friends, uh, Aligada family, meron silang weekend habit in which ang families nila ay nagsistay na online kada weekend to talk about things, kung kamusta na ang situation niya dyan, so on and so forth. So, I think it is also a good practice as a family to stay connected during the lockdown. So, here, kailangan natin na kunin na Balik tayo ng letter C. Letter C, create routines. Okay? So, dalawa na lang. So, paano ba ang sign language ng letter D? So, letter D is this one. Now, paano ba, or ano ba ang aking acronym for D? D is dream. Oops, nakikita. Dream. Dream. Okay? So, it is a good thing kung meron tayong plans. Kasi if we are targeting a certain dream, meron tayong reason kung bakit tayo bumabangon, sabi ni Nescafe, di ba? There. There are certain targets. Now, goals keep us locked and undistracted. So, mas maganda, may it be small or malaki ang goal natin. For example, for me, have a haircut, ganun ka small. And kung malaki naman yung dream, would publish a, a certain research article dito sa quarantine period, then at least meron tayong goal for a certain period of time. Pwede tayong goal sa isang buwan, and then sa isang week, sa isang araw. So, parang lesson plan. At the end of this quarantine, I should be able to. So, that's what you have to do. And so, um, mas maganda kung meron tayong tinitingnan na price. Meron tayong um, certain tro trophy. Something to look forward to. And the reason why we wake up. So, mas maganda if we wake up with a purpose. Okay? And so, yesterday, I started this challenge. Ang challenge ko ay tinatawag na hashtag after COVID-19. So, this challenge, gawin, pwede niyo pong gawin today. Um, you're going to choose four na things. Siguro nandun sa cellphone niyo na. Ano pa yung plano ninyo na gawin 
after this lockdown. Um, yesterday, nakapag-post na ako. Ito yung sa akin. Ang first ko ay, of course, to hug uh, my colleagues and my friends and, of course, to congratulate them for making it through. Diba? Second is to have a haircut kasi hindi ko plano na magkaroon ng hair this long. This is supposed to be intended for the graduation. Kaya lang, you already know what happened. And then, third, I will go to the to the hospital kapag safe na to have my brain check for x-ray kasi marami na akong MRI so we're running some series of tests to know what my condition really is and then fourth is to have a movie night kailangan natin ng date na miss ko na yung big screen so how about you? ano yung top four things na gusto ninyong gawin after ng lahat ng ito? So, you're going to post it using the hashtag uh, after COVID. At pakisama na rin ang hashtag PNU Talks. Okay. So, tapos na tayo sa letter D. Then, we have letter E. Letter E is exercise. Again, exercise. So, most, uh, the most potent lifestyle change that we can make is actually exercise. According to John Ratey, you see John Ratey or si Dr. John Ratey is the author of the best-selling book na Spark. Um, he mentioned that the best medicine to our brain is exercise. So, it also increases our brain cells at tinatawag natin na neurogenesis. So, pinatunayan ni John Ratey na ang exercise is not really about the body, but it's about the mind. So, if you're going to look for his TED Talks, you see John Ratey. So, you can look for him sa TED Talks at saka you can also download his book if possible. And so, ang sinabi niya sa kanyang um, book is that um, exercise optimizes cognitive functioning. So aside from that, it prevents cognitive decline, it lessens the threat of Alzheimer's, and even attention deficit disorder. So if a person has a uh, sinasabi na merong ADHD or ADD, um, pwede siyang magkaroon ng physical na therapy na uh, physical um, exercise din ang, ang napapaloob doon. So pwede niyang gawin yun. So, merong certain um, schools sa Illinois, meron din sa Sweden, and some parts of the U.S. Now, first two hours nila sa school ay gym lang, as in they have this equipment. So, dahil meron silang ganong klase ng routine every single day, um, nagkaroon sila ng mataas na test scores sa isang international math and science test. So, naging number one sila sa um, science, and then number six naman sa math. So, ibig sabihin, exercise actually works. I also noticed this with my students. Eh. Ang studyante ko, lalo na yung 11 to 1 po na class, um, fortunately, PE muna sila bago yung class ko na 11 to 1. And you already know, kapag 11 to 1, sobrang nakakaantok. Pero sa kanila, iba ang epekto. So, sila yung maingay in a good way. Sila yung attentive sila talaga yung mas masarap din ang kausap. So, natutulungan din nila ako sa 11 to 1 na yun kahit na uh, mainit, talagang attentive talaga sila. So, that is of course one of the effects of exercise. Um, aside from lessening the obesity cases, ang exercise, it also improves our mood, our energy, and also our motivation. So, it also activates the, trans, uh, the neurotransmitters and the love hormones. So, kung alam nyo pa ang work ng serotonin, that is for hormones, and dopamine for motivation, drive, and energy, ang um, norepinephrine, um, concentration, alertness, and ang um, love hormones, ng oxytocin, it makes us more loving. And therefore, we become more attractive just because nag-exercise. So, di ba, nag-exercise ka lang, naging loving ka na, at saka naging attractive ka pa. So, those are some of the findings na makikita ninyo at magbabasa ninyo sa book ni John Lindy. Tingnan natin kung may space pa ako. 
there. So aside from that, it also increases your attention level. So, yung concentration natin, because of exercise, ay nadadagdaga. Okay? Now, um, our early ancestors, predominantly are hunter-gatherers. Okay? So, um, the running man back then, tinatawag na if you did not run, then you did not eat. Therefore, individuals who could outrun and outplan their, their peers would survive. So, kung ikaw yung malakas, kung ikaw yung tumatakbo, then you survive. So, 10,000 years ago, from being hunters and gatherers, um, our genes have not changed that much. So, we evolve our society. Pero yung genes natin, hindi talaga nagbago. So, ang societies lang ang nag-change. Here. So, paano ba nag-change yung society na yan? Ibigin working people. And then, nagkaroon tayo ng social media. So, ibig sabihin, kung sinasabi na 10,000 years ago, our genes have not changed that much. Therefore, we are designed to activate our bodily functions. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin mag-exercise, kailangan natin mag-move, mag-run for us to survive. Come to think of it, ganun na din ang nangyayari this time. So, para kumain tayo, di ba? Kailangan natin mag- uh, kailangan natin mag-run, kailangan natin mag-walk, so on and so forth. Okay? So, what do you have to do? Since nalaman natin itong exercise, well, use the stairs sa bahay. Mag-exercise tayo. Yung pinatawag natin na 10,000 steps a day. That is true. And if you think na medyo hindi natin kayo mag-exercise, then samahan natin ng music. Kahit mag-sale ka lang dyan, just do a certain strap, do a certain step. And that will make a difference. Okay? So, ubus na aking visual aids. So, let's just make a review. Letter A, you acknowledge your feelings. Letter B, be mindful or be aware. Letter C, create routines. Create routines. D, dream. Dream. Letter E, exercise. So those are the five things na makakatulong sa atin to keep our mind healthy during the lockdown. So this is Teacher Shine. Maraming salamat po for listening. And I hope you learned a lot for this day. And thank you sa pagsama sa akin for around 30 minutes or so para makinig. Maraming salamat. And tomorrow, magkakaroon naman po na series of PNU Talks. Um, ang mga speakers naman natin ay manggagaling sa PNU campuses. Maybe you have questions. Direct may question ba? Direct? Meron po bang questions? Let's see. I'm looking at other uh, social media. Hindi ko magana. So, maybe I can check your phones. Ah, parang wala namang tanong. Meron ba tanong? I have to say goodbye na. Okay na ba? Walang tanong talaga. Really? Well, that's good. You're welcome. Thank you, Den. Thank you, Den, for watching. Thank you for giving me a piece of your time. Salamat. So let me just also take this opportunity to thank Dr. Lord, Dr. Love. Thank you po for giving me this opportunity to teach during the lockdown. Happy birthday din po kay MC in advance, kay JR ng Kislap Sining Dance Group. And today, birthday ni Mel Morales, happy birthday. At si Tita Roda, nanay ni MC, happy birthday din po. And of course, ang nanay ko, magbabirthday na siya 60th this April. So we, have a, we had a lot of plans. Kaya lang during the lockdown, we don't know kung ano pang pwede namin mag magawa. But, um, we'll see to it na magiging special pa rin yung day niya. 
sa 60th na ng aking nanay. Okay? Meron pa po bang mga tanong? Ah, everything is clear. Thank you so much. Ah, pwede ako mag-online lesson. Unfortunately, only know the basic of ASL. Kasi nga, as I mentioned in the introduction, kapag hindi mo kasi pinractice ang sign language, nawawala siya sa'yo. So, I learned um, Filipino sign language a year ago. But then, because of my dissertation, and then, wala naman nga ako nakakasagamuha to practice. So, it's a language eh. Kapag hindi mo siya ginamit, you really tend to forget that. Um, ang PNU po, magkakaroon po kami, nasa pipeline na po ang aming special education na course. So, hopefully this year, next year, magkakaroon kami na set ng uh, special education majors. May pa po bang question? Excited to see you ako din. Excited din ako makita ang mga studente. At sya ka, of course, mga colleagues and friends. Thank you, Ate Ivy, for hosting the event. Ulam, Ma'am Heidi. And, of course, kay Madam Michelle Morales. Uh, siya po ang nag-drawing ng mga ganito kasi hindi ko po yung talent. Um, keep safe din po. Marami pong salamat. Thank you for listening. Sa nasa Dumaguete. Ariana. Ari, that's a good one. Get it, okay. Is it okay, Puba, just to listen to a friend experiencing anxiety? Um, it is the best thing, of course, na magawa natin as a friend. Yung hindi muna tayo magjudge, yung i-validate muna natin yung feelings ng friend na meron tayo. Sometimes kasi we tend to judge agad eh. Yung hindi pa sila natatapos, tapos judge ka agad. So, that is also not a good thing to do. So, if um, you have to understand na kailangan natin na makinig muna. Minsan kahit tama man sila or mali, kailangan natin silang supportan. So, that you can understand ano ba talaga yung pinagdadaanan nila. Being a good friend, of course. Pero after the lockdown, mas maganda po kung makahanap siya ng, of course, ng psych help na talagang magdadiagnose sa kanya. Because there are medicines para po itaas yung happiness hormones. Mayroon natin akong question. Ano daw yung book uh, for the exercise? Yes? Um, book to ni John Rathy. J-O-H-N R-A-T-E-Y Ang book niya ay Sparks. S-P-A-R-K-S Sparks. Ah, please do the challenge. Ay, si Ma'am si Ma Ocampo pala to eh. Sige po, hihintayin ko po yung challenge ninyo. ninyo. Just please use um, hashtag after COVID-19 and hashtag PMU Talks. Good morning din po. Salamat po for watching. Are there other questions direct? Books lang? Ah, wala na. Okay. So, clear naman daw. Okay, so tomorrow, please uh, watch po kayo na PNU Talks kada 9 o'clock because we have more topics to discuss na makakatulong po sa atin during the lockdown. Mihahabol pa po. Good morning. Hi, Mamunet. Good morning po. Ganun pa po. Mihahabol pa po. Very timely, lalo na sa may anxiety attack. Yes, um, I have a neurological condition. So, I understand kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng anxiety attacks eh. Kaya sabi ko kanina sa letter A, alamin niyo muna yung root cause. Ako at first, I felt guilty na hindi ako nakakapagpasa ng deadlines. Kasi meron kami mga projects sa school. Pero because meron nga akong attacks, wala ko nagagawa. As hindi ako pwedeng mag-stay ng matagal sa monitor ng laptop. And even today, I only use my phone. Kaya ganyan po yung ating mitsura pa tayo, di ba po? So, when a person is having too much stress, kailangan niya malaman bakit pa siya stressed. 
And sana maging friend tayo dun sa family member natin ngayon para malaman natin kung paano siya matulong. Hindi natin dadagdagan. Okay? Sabi ko nga kanina, be a role model. Meron pa pong hahabol. Kuya First, thank you sa pag-plug ng uh, PNU Talks. MC and Onad, salamat din sa support ng Ate Ivy. Again, advance happy birthday kay Mama. 60th na niya. Hindi hala tayo. Direct mag-cut na ba ako? Pinahabol pa ba? Thank you din sa aking mga cousins for watching this. Jazzy, Mira, and Abby. Actually, nandun lang sila sa kwarto. Salamat po. And then, meron pa ba? Ah, si Ato. Kay Direk Mitch daw. God bless. <laughs> yes, nandito na si Direk. Siya ang gumawa ng setup natin ng TNU Talks. We've been doing this for a, a couple of days now. And then, thank you din po. Do you have another talks po? Ay! Ang cousin ko pala from the US. Hi, Joshua Vergara. Wala pa or wala na. Kasi we are 100 something faculty sa PNU. So, there are a lot of good na speakers. Actually, pang 10 na ata ako eh. So, pwede niyo yung tingnan yung mga past namin na speakers over the Philippine Normal University Facebook page. Ayan pa po. I miss you then, Josh. I hope ba bumalik ka na dito sa Maynila, sa Philippines. Parang may nagkamali ng comment. Hindi ko po naintindihan yung isa. And then, congratulations. Yes. O, diba? May nagkamali nga ng comment. Sabi ko na nga ba. Thank you. And marami pong salamat for watching. And nakaka-40 minutes na po ako dito. Ang usapan ay 15 minutes lang po. But thank you for staying with me. So, direct pa din ata tayong mag-cut. Hindi ko sa finish. Thank you. Good morning.